Welcome back to another solo tutorial. This one's gonna go over how to solo Jumbotron. We are gonna be using double shotties for this, but we are not gonna glitch the shotty in. I did not bring the shotty in. Just so you can tell. Sure, I can show you how to do it normally. But we're gonna do double shotties anyway. Uh, this is gonna go over all the spawns that are in this quest. And we're gonna show you what the best tips and tricks are for those levels and just overall. Um, credit to the people who have done this before me, like Bofire, all those other people, I'll link them back down below. And if you've not seen my last one where I gave you a tutorial on how to solo Golden Trophy, I'll also link that down below. So without further ado, let's get started. I'll put you guys into POV. And let's get started. So you want to choose your weapon of choice. I prefer to use the SMG because obviously that is. Uh, you can also use paint pistol. It's also a good choice. You can flip reload it. You can dual wield it. It's quite good. Now a little brief um, disclaimer. If you want to get S, you will need to get a few of these terminals because you can't get S. On your own, if you don't get any of these, you'll get like 146k. Uh, let's get started. So, moving past this line here that I'm drawing with the lasers, you'll get three flyers. You'll get one there, you'll get one there, and one there. What the best thing to do is you, to hide behind this uh, wall here. And then you can poke your gun out and just shoot. Alright. Once you get past here, you'll spawn three more. They like to spawn over here. Now a good thing to do is just to spawn them. And run back to this area. Where has it gone? There it is. They sound like they're right behind me. Once you take those out, you'll get three more. Over here. If you want them to like stop and shoot, just poke your head out. Poke it back in and they'll stop moving if they seem a bit too close to you. Once you get past this bunch of crates here, you'll get two flies up on here. You can use uh, these crates as like a little area to block and also if you just strafe left and right they won't be able they can't be able to get you because they always shoot for your head just like the guys from golden once you pass this like little diagonal trigger volume here you'll get four flies in this room what i like to do is you can either run back to where the um wall is i showed you or you can hide behind this wall but this wall is a bit more riskier so probably best to run back or you can even run back to these crates here if you feel like they're getting too close run back to these ones over there then you're done with act one right Act 2, once you come across that line, you'll get a bunch of ground bots. These ground bots are much easier because they shoot slower and they also aim for your head. So you get four of them, just kill them. Also, aiming for the screens will do like double damage and you'll kill them faster if you hit the screens. So once you get past around here or like here, uh, it's like either here or here. You'll get four more, but they all spawn past this uh, wall here. So you can just shoot them. They normally just get stuck here and then they shoot on it. Getting past this uh, fence post here will give you two flies and two, no, three normal runners. 
you can use this uh, wall as a blockage for your enemies. Oh my bad, that was two ground bots. Once you get past this line, you're going to get some mouse bots over there. You need to be careful because they will explode if you get close to them. What I like to do is just go up on these crates and just, <coughs> just let them explode. Now here's where you want to run and get the shotgun. Because on, once you pass this line here, you'll spawn one fly there and two more. And taking two of those will spawn in basically another wave of that same exact format. So you get that and use this crate as protection. And also on that second wave you get more my spots, so good thing to know is that you should kill them quick before these guys get to you. Alright. Go in past these crates here will spawn five flyers in like one here, one here, and like three over here. Best thing to do is hide behind this pillar here. Do this one. And then run to these crates here and do the rest. And then once you take this one out, you're gonna get three runners. One that always spawns here. And you're gonna get some mice bots over there too, and you might get two over here or them over there. So locate the Red bots and just wait for the mice to kill themselves and then once uh, you finish this wave off you're gonna get some mouse bots in that cove over there and you're gonna get three more runners across this room so I just like to jump across the crates like floors lava and because there's literally is lava and kill the last guy Engineering Act 3. Watch out for these lasers. If you die with those lasers, bro, you're gonna get made fun of if you're in a public match. Walking up, of course, you'll get some tread bots, like five or six. Now that you have the double shotties, that should be really easy for you. Walking across, you'll get five more tread bots down all the way down here. They can either spawn on both sides here. I'll also make a double shotty tutorial for you guys. Once you kill this guy, you're going to get a couple of tread bots up on this middle section. So kill these guys as quickly as you can. And once you kill this last guy, you're going to get some tread bots either on this middle section or the bottom section. So you're going to get quite sandwiched, but you can always stand here because they all spawn here, not here. So let's kill this guy. And we've got quite an even spawn. Nearly. Uh, for the love of God, please be careful not to shoot the grenades because you're going to cost yourself a life. Here's a sniper, it's very important in this quest. Snipers are the main priority. Alright, moving into this room over here, you're gonna get a couple tread bots. Once you're gonna once you kill them, you are gonna get two flyers and a couple more tread bots. But if you cross the if you cross the halfway section of this room, you're gonna spawn another wave. So I recommend not do that yet just kill these bots stand behind pillars pillars and like walls are your best friend in this quest because they see you and they shoot like that and then they just all hit the wall all right here's where you cross the middle section to get the next wave you can hide behind this little pillar thing there so just run 
Just hide. Get a few pop shots. This wave will consist of two tread bots and three flyers. The best thing to do is just take peak shots. And boom, you're done with this room. Moving on to the next. Once you enter this room, you're gonna get six tread bots, but once you enter the midway section of this room, you're gonna spawn three flies and like three tread bots in this room. So I recommend not to go as far. I just like to stay here. Just like to alternate between these two glasses. And just shoot. Once you take this wave out, you're gonna get three flies and a couple more runners. What I like to do is just shoot these two grenades and not miss. If you do miss, for whatever reason. What the crap? How am I missing? Okay, but if you do miss for whatever reason, just run back. Don't feel like. Just don't do what I just did there. If you get lucky enough, you might be able to do that. But if it fails the first time, just run. Killing that wave will get you some more mouse bots. You'll get two waves of them, and the second wave will also spawn three flies across the room. Just exploding that, just to make sure I don't do it when I'm near it. Once you take this wave out, you're going to get the last wave of this room that gives you two flyers over here and like four across that side of the room. Again, you can just alternate like that. Right, now we can spawn the midway section. I will spawn a couple over here. Again, you have these walls for a reason. Use them to your advantage. Or you can just strafe all of them and just get some pop shots off. Alright, moving in to the bridge. Moving into this room, we're going to get two assassin bots. These bots are just like the barrels from Golden Trophy. You have to hit their backs. But you can also hit anywhere else, but it will just do less damage. Just like that. Try not to get into their line of sight. Uh, once you kill this one out, you're gonna get six tread bots. They can either spawn over there, there, or there. You're gonna get guaranteed two on this one, on this section, but you could either get four, or none over there, or two and two. One and three, you get that. Take him out. Take these guys as a falling. We got three on this side. Another good tip for you guys if you really don't feel confident about doing this stage, you can run over here where you will see this little opening and you could just pop your gun out and just shoot. It'll be a bit of annoying to deal with the assassin bots because they they won't turn around. Here I'll just give a quick example for this wave. Make sure you do not spawn any mouse bots though, because I'm pretty sure they can get you here. Once you take this wave out, you're going to get three more flyers across this line here. And you're going to get another tread bot. Again, the strafe. And then once you kill this tread bot, you're gonna get two more assassin bots, one at the start and one in this cove. Just take them out. 
And I prefer not to go in these coves. Because if you do, you'll spawn my spots. Okay, this is a bit awkward. Oh my gosh, I got stuck on the thing. I was like, why am I moving? Oh my god, that was scary. You need to be careful when you deal with these guys. Telling that will get you three flies. Best thing to do is just to run in here. Just to pull your gun out like this. Killing two of these three flies will award you with three more flies. You also have an assassin bot back there. Watch out for him. He seems to be linking his way over. He doesn't normally do that. Um, you have these grenades that you can mess around, but I prefer not to touch them because I normally get myself killed. And you are done. Have a little water break. A uh, little water break. Going into the flight deck. Now boarding flight two, sector seventeen. All passengers press blast off. Now, if you feel like you can't deal with this level in the open, you can always run back and just take these out from here. Be aware because one of the waves you're gonna get a bunch of my spots here. So, starting off the first wave, you're gonna get three flyers over here. Again, using this wall and just taking pop shots is like the best thing to do. Wait for them to shoot. Come on, you're nearly dead. Taking this flyer out will give you a couple tread bots along this uh, walkway. Killing half of them will give you three more. And I'll tell you what to do from there. Again, stay here. This is like the best place to be for basically all this level. Once you kill those three from the second wave, you're gonna get three flies over here and you're also going to get my spot spawning there if you can take out these flies as soon as they drop if you feel like you can't do that in time hide the best thing to do wait for them to shoot wait for them to shoot and shoot Okay, got them all. Here are your my spots. Once you kill these ones, you're gonna get some on the starting bit. Just kill them quick. And then they'll give you more over here. Like a bunch more. After that, you'll get a bunch of tread bots. I like to take out the one that is unable to move and run back. Taking this wave out will give you the last wave, which consists, which consists of a lot of flies and a few tread bots. I like to hide behind this glass because it's more safer. You'll pop your gun out. If you can't see through this glass for the reason that you're on a quest too, I'm pretty sure you can get a camera. No, you can't really anymore, can you? Well, you used to get a camera and, sh and uh, put it through the glass and you could see the other side, but that doesn't really work anymore. If that is so, just take pop shots and randomly. Um, these two guys get stuck on this little walkway here. So let's make our way onto the ship. 
take shots. Hide and take another shot and hopefully win. We're heading into space. This level you're going to get introduced to a new enemy just like the elites from Golden Trophy. You're going to get elites of these versions here. I like to, for both of these barrels, shoot them at the same time. And it takes out most of them. Uh, if you don't take long enough, just like I did, uh, you can explode this one and it'll take these out. It looks like they make their way, way back though, so... Boom. Now, if you get past those cones, you're going to spawn some flies, like around four flies over there. If you get past around this line where my light is, uh, my light is, you'll get three runners behind you. I like to deal with them first, because I do not want to be sandwiched between the enemies. Now, you'll get some flies. I like to hide behind this pillar where the cones are. Do not explode the bell yet, save that for the second wave. Because then you'll get a few more. That second wave will also give you another four flies, that's why I like to kill them. Like that. Moving up, you'll get two runners, or three runners, I mean, and two over there. And then once you get past this area, or get to that area, you'll spawn three flies over here where my lights are, and you'll get a few runners over here. So I like to activate the spawn barrier and hide behind this wall. Take a few pop shots. Try and kill them before these guys get to you because it will be a real pain having to deal with both. You do not want that to happen. Seems like it is happening. Just use this nice cove to your advantage. I don't know where the flyer went. Did I kill it? I think I killed a flyer but I'm not sure though. Okay, I did. Alright, here's where you get introduced to the new enemies. Once you go up this ramp, you're going to get two elite ground bots. These are much more annoying because they shoot at the same speed as... Oh, I nearly died. They shoot at the same speed as the flyers do, and they shoot in a burst of five like the elite fire goblins do from Golden Trophy. So, there is a barrel here, however, if you take, if you explode the barrel as they're falling down, you'll get two of them. Hopefully, if you're lucky, you'll be able to take both of them out. Once you take out that wave, you're going to get another elite treadbot and three normal flyers. So, here's where I get ready. Try and shoot them. I managed to get them both. Here, you're going to get a little bit cornered but you do have this pillar here if you feel like anything's gonna go wrong and you have this pillar here if anything's gonna go wrong normally it doesn't want to make its way up but it seems like it is all right here's where you want to get your sniper out and before i do advance to the next stage there was a much easier way to do this wave you can just Awaken them and just run all the way back. You have all this ground to cover over here You do not have to be as confident as I was Entering this room will give you two more elite tread bots I'm gonna do the easiest way and just use all this ground I have you can also use behind these uh, barrels here To also protect yourself Shooting the screens will also help a lot Taking this guy out will give you a couple normal runners and flyers. So I like to give a load at this uh, owl here. Normally they like to get their little shooters stuck under the door. That is the case. Just hide. I like to run up this ramp. 
use this little wall here. Hmm. I don't know where they are. Yeah, look. Okay. You'll also get a uh, one up here. I'm trying to shoot this. Uh... Didn't get him. What? Just use this. Use every cover that you have. Oh, we're done. I wish they fixed that. It's really hard to deal with. Now we are going into the hangar. Right. Coming down here, you will spawn two elite flyers. So I like to make the light come up. That's when you know that you're going to spawn them. And I like to use this wall here as a little protection what's different about these guys are not really much different from the red ones the normal ones they just shoot a bit faster in a burst of five once you take those two out you're gonna get two more purple ones and a bunch of normal ones here's why you just hide behind this and strafe as you're strafing, shoot. And then shoot again. Make sure you go for the elite ones first because they're your main priority in this situation. Right. Moving up. Once you pass this explosive barrel, you're gonna get an elite runner and some normal runners if you go to the ramp you'll get two elite runners and some more normal ones what i normally do and when i'm just playing casually i like to go to the ramp and spawn both of them run back and explode this barrel but for the purpose of this video i'm just going to spawn them one at a time spawn the first one i like to save the barrel for the second wave use that barrel if necessary and I just use um, this sniper. If you feel like you're getting overwhelmed, run back, fall back. Don't be afraid to fall back. That now is where you're going to get the more intense wave. So. What I like to do is just get ready to run as soon as you pass this ramp. Spawn it and run. And then just gather them up over here to this explosive barrel. When you think they're all together, explode. That is the most easiest way to deal with that wave. If you fail to do that or if that barrel's gone for some reason, you can always fall back as usual. You have time. Coming down into this area, once you come here, you'll get an elite flyer that spawns on this cargo crate thing and you'll get two normal ones here, well you get an elite one there and you get a normal one there. It likes to get stuck on the thingy here, the crate, so this is where you, it's a good chance is a good technique to use is to fall back and to try and get this flyer without going too close to it once you kill this guy however you're gonna get an elite runner i like to take him out as he's falling And the line that I like to get up on this crate because once you take these guys out, you're gonna get a bunch, a bunch of my spots. Once you take out most of those my spots, you're gonna get an elite runner up here. And what I like to do, and you also get a very normal run. Uh, you can just shoot them as they're falling. Just like that. If you feel like you can't do that, just run back. Just let the waves come to you. 
Once you take those that wave out, you'll get two assassin bots, one in that cargo crate and one over there. If you have not used these barrels yet, now's a good time to use them. You can just push them, but I don't really trust myself doing that. Here's where it gets real. Because once you take this assassin butt out, you're going to get three flyers. Two here and one here. You're also going to get another assassin bot where this assassin bot is right now. You're also going to get elite tread runner and like two normal runners in this section. What I like to do is I like to get this guy really low. And just kill him when the time's perfect. And... I like to get the elite runner over here so I can explode that barrel. If you have not used this barrel yet, use it when the elite runner comes close. If not, if you if it is already used, then just run back as usual. You can just stay there for basically... Once you spawn this room, you can basically just run back for the rest of the level. Just let everything come to you. Maybe except the time where the fly gets stuck. And for the elite bots. I'm just shooting. There we go. Watch out for the flowers that also spawn here. I use it. Use that pillar if you can to avoid these fly shots. And if there's any other battles they haven't used yet, feel free to use them. I might just use it for this guy here. Just push him. And you're done with that level. Now this is where you're going to face the most hardest level of this quest. The supply. Make sure you get ready for this level because it's going to be a real tough one. Now, once you get here, you're going to spawn two uh, elite flyers and three normal flyers. Again, you can use these two walls here to like alternate and give shots. Try not to explode these barrels. I will tell you when to explode these barrels. So just start it. Alternate. You also have this uh, post here. Fence, I mean. To stop yourself from dying. Moving up. Once you get to these caution lines, you'll get two elite tread bots and two normal ones don't explode the bowels yet if you feel like you are getting under pressure though do use them they normally like to get stuck on this uh, corner however so you don't really have any real reason to use them this one's stuck here once you get up on this ramp and onto the flat area you will spawn one elite flyer and three normal flyers across this walkway here. Kind of don't want to do it without this guy. So I'm going to have to anyway. Blow that barrel. I should take out most of them. Okay, I'm just going to kill this guy before. I continue. Alright, make your way back because when you take this guy out, you're going to get three more normal flies and some mice bots. Once you take out those flies, you're going to get three more elite runners. So that's why I like to stay back and take out the mice bots first. You can let them shoot at you to make them st make stop moving. You have this whole ground to cover over here. 
can stand up on those garbage things if you feel like they're gonna kill you. Right. Ready? Once they all gather around this barrel, ka chow. They're all dead. Save that barrel for this wave. Once you get to this fence here, you're gonna get some my spots in that cove and three flies over here. That's why I use this barrel. I like to give a few pop shots over here and use this barrel to hopefully get a few shots off. Normally it doesn't take out the whole wave. If that's the case, just hide in this cove over here. We did some damage to the assassin but at least and that's something good good. This is the room that is mainly stressful to me and other people. Once you go to the window you're gonna spawn a lot of flies. All I have to do is explode this barrel and the middle one and just run back from now. Just get peach shots. Try not to explode any more barrels. Once you take that wave out, explode that barrel once you see the my spots get closer and that one. And again just do pop shots from here. And then once you take this wave out you're basically gonna get the same wave except all the flies are replaced with runners. I exploded that on accident. I like to take these mouth bot first. And that normally takes out all the stress. And this is that bit done for to spawn all the west. You need to enter the room. There are two ways to go about this. You can either spawn them and run back. Which is probably a more dangerous way to do it because you risk getting shot. Or you can spawn them and run to this cove here. I'm going to do it that way because it's better and it has a less risk of getting shot. And you have a glass wall there to protect yourself. And you can also explode barrels. This way is safer, but on the way to get to the safe spot is a bit dangerous. That bit is a bit more risky though. If you get a bunch of them. So, run. Kill some on the way down if you can. And try not to go on this lower bit because my spots can kill you there. I found that out the hard way. From there, you just pop shot. You get some mouse spots and a bunch more. Taken out. There's only two waves that time, which is good. You get two assassin bots, one there, which I just killed, the barrels, and one over there, you can also kill with those barrels over there, and I'm probably going to do that, probably not actually, because he's he's going his own way, just lure him over, this is where you want to be, guy. Best to push him while he's on his like cooldown. Or not, he's just making his way over. Taking that out. We'll get you four runners up on here. You can just use this barrel to make take most of them out. And you get another elite or assassin bot over here. Now we are on to Jumbo Tron. Alright, this one you're gonna have to listen up real closely. This is one of the hardest boss fights, in my opinion. Get an SMG, the weapon that you started off just very solo with. Why are you fall down there? Well, you have enough time to make your way over here. Now, listen very closely because you're gonna have to count how many reloads or clips it takes to take out one screen. This is going to be very helpful for the other side. 
So, the best way to do this is take out one screen and kill all the enemies that come from it. So, as I counted the clips in the past, it takes around five and a half clips. I'm just going to count that again. I already miscounted on this screen, so I'm going to do the other one. So it takes around like five and a half full reloads to take out the screen. The first wave isn't too bad. They're all normal enemies. And watch out, you get some over here. Alright, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. They're around half. Taking that wave out will get you some more elites. Here's where you might want to get your shotguns out now. Oh, he's a bit too close for comfort. Another way to tackle this boss fight is you can always go up here. But they're kind of untouchable up there. They're all crowded off of one here, so it might be a little bit dangerous. You, just, you might need to do a little bit of an extendo to get your gun out on the edge and kill them. Yeah, here's where... That clip tip is going to help a lot because you're going to go to the other side and take out both of the screens at the same time. If you fail to do so, it's kind of an instant fail. If you want to do it the safer way, you can get to an area where you can get to the first screen and take it out and run back without getting shot. That's a bit more dangerous though. So what the way we are going to do it is a quite complicated at first. Now, the way to deal with this boss is when it shoots its turret, it, sh it leads you, it's the only enemy or boss actually that can lead you. So for example, if you're walking in its path that it can see you, it will shoot in front of you. And by the time you walk forward, the, the bullets will hit you. So as you see, I tried to walk and it shot over there and, and I was here. So you're going to have to like do like... As you're moving, if it sees you, you have to duck and stop moving. I'll give you a little example. Kind of like that. You might need to move back as well. So this bit is a little bit hard. Use these covers to help you. I'm going to take a shotgun in case this goes wrong. Okay. This is the most stressful part. Okay. I have this all here okay I'm a bit too tall so I can't really use this cover okay one Oof. <laughs> you have a little safe wall here. Now, in between its bursts, you're going to want to run behind those two boxes. And you're going to want to take these two screens out at the same time. Taking out the third one will spawn three elites right in front of you. So this is why it's important to take out both at the same time and to remember the amount of clips it takes. So in between its bursts, take go behind. Okay. You might want to duck for this. 
if it does go wrong, you can just duck and just shoot. So, you need to count. That's one. That's one on both. Two on both. Three on both. Four on both. Five on both. Now here's where we're going to start putting a little bit of this clip in between both of them. So. Ooh, that was stressful. And just like that, you have completed Jumbotron. You got S. Look at that glorious S. Just like that, guys, you've soloed Jumbotron. I hope this video helps. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, give me your thoughts, and we'll see you in Crimson. Well, I'll give you a solo tutorial for that. Also, again, from the start, uh, credit to the other guys who also did this before me. And we'll see you in Crimson. See ya.